guys, Jim Wilson back with another video of Katia V5. And in this video, I will show you how to design this particular part on the right side of the screen. And this is the continuation of Practice for Beginners series, and this is part 12 from my understanding. So let's get started. So, first of all, as we can see, as we are making more and more videos, the level of complexity is also going up. This one is two different views. As we can see the front view and the top view and we, we will make this part right from using these two views and let's see how it goes so first of all file new click on part and part is going to be part number 12 right here so I like to work in isometric view so I want the front view to look something like this and the top to look something like that so i'm going to start with the top one as i already know and i've told you many times as well that i like to work in isometric view i'm going to use a center rectangle as i can see that it's a rectangular surface so i'm going to use center rectangle something like that and i'm going to dimension it 40 in thickness so the width is going to be 40 right here 40 and the overall length is going to be the addition of everything 50 plus 10 60 so 50 plus 10 50 plus 10 60 plus 60 is 120 in total right so this is going to be 120 there we go i exit out i'm going to use pad and i can see the thickness is 8 so i'm going to use 8 as my thickness so that's just the base so let's say if i see it from the from the front view right it's going to look something like this normal to this looks fine so now i also know that in order to okay this is front view i have to look for on the right side i guess on the right side yeah there we go so the base is made of eight in thickness so now i can work with this particular profile but then the interesting part about this profile is if I look at here, I can see that my thickness of the cylind of the cylindrical portion of it is slightly more than the thickness of the stiffener or this these two lines you can say, which is connecting the two cylinders with the base plate. So the thickness of the cylinders is going to be this thickness addition of 12 on each side whereas the base plate is going to, whereas the distance of this is going to be addition of 8 the cylinder is slightly outside whereas this is going to stop a little bit beyond so from my understanding the part that is designed is in such a way that i have to first This is going to be a fun one. All right, let's see. So I make choose this plane right here. Okay, and I'm simply going to make two circles right here. Looks good. I'm going to dimension them. So one is going to be twenty. The other one is going to be forty. And the distance from the top the bottom right here is going to be 22 there we go looks good it's already fully defined i'm going to exit out it's in the middle i made it intentionally middle extent and the total thickness is going to be what so 40 is total on top of that i have 12 minus 8 which is 4 so 40 plus 4 on each side is going to be 48 divided by 2 is going to be 24 just to let you guys know how I did it. So I have total width to be 40. Then I have 12 as a thickness. And I know that from the center till here it's 8. So 8 minus 12 or 12 minus 8 gives me this particular thickness right here. You guys can see this small thickness right here. So that gives me that how much I need to add in, in the total length. It's going to look something like that. This is going to be equal to. 
the same thickness. So 40 plus 4 on each side is going to be 48 divided by 2 because I'm using the mirror extent. So I have something like that. So if I look from from the top, yeah. So if you look at it carefully, it is the way. It's okay, my bad. There we go. If I look from the top, it's going to look exactly the way. There we go. Right? So if you can see that it's forming the same exact pattern. So now, in order to add the thickness of these things, this is the portion that is left. Again, I'm going to use the same plane. Right? I'm going to use the same plane. I'm going to use this as a projection. Click OK. Construction element. And I can use this as a projection as well. Construction element. Well, I can use stiffener in this case if I really want to. I'm going to make one line right here which is going to be tangent to this circle tangency and I can trim this extra line because I don't need it right here I trim that now I can have the dimensions for this so okay the thickness is given so this is going to be 20 from this side from here till the edge is going to be 20 there we go something like that and I will try to mirror and see if this thing is going to work with the stiffener or not because as you guys have seen in the previous videos I have some issue in my laptop using stiffener and it shows error for no reason although everything is correct okay I'm going to use stiffener from side Can I add it? No. Seven open for five. Okay. It can only do one at a time, I guess. So I'm just going to make this as construction element. Instead of deleting it, I mean I just tend to make it construction element every time it works. Okay, it's not going to make. Okay. Not helpful at all. Let me try to delete it and let's see if that makes any difference. Stiffener? No. Invalid profile it says. So we need to do it the hard way. All right, not an issue, not a problem. Perfectly fine. So I can use this as a construction element, and again I will just mirror this around the axis. There we go. I'm going to get rid of this extra material right here. Now I'm also going to turn this into non-construction element, and what happened here? Okay, let me project it. And I'm going to trim these two lines right here. Looks good. Perfect. Looks good. Now if I pad this, now I can. This is slightly weird thing. Sometimes it does show error in my case for stiffness. So the thickness of this thing is going to be what? We have 40 and minus 8 from each side which is going to be 16 so 40 minus 16 is going to be 24 right and 24 and 24 is going to be 12 each side it's going to look something like that right so this is how the part is supposed to look like and then we also have some holes i'm just going to use holes as a pattern right Instead of making pocket, I'm just going to give dimensions and where the whole alignment is. You can see it's 10 from one side. So one edge is going to be 10. And the other one is with respect to the center. So I can just go inside with respect to the center. Right here. Go inside. Looks good. Exit out. Diameter is 10. And up to last all right and now i can use mirror 
to translate that onto the other surface. Translation, I think they might be hidden. Translation, translation, translation feature, they're already there. I need to find them. Very interesting. Okay, I need to go maximum screen. There they are. Translation. All right. So this is what we are going to use. Translation features. So we'll use mirror. We'll use this right here. Mirroring element is going to be right this one. Click OK. There we go. So it was not actually a hard part to make, but a hard part to interpret the drawing from because sometimes it can get confusing. The way you see, so right, this is the front view, whereas this should be the top view if I look from the top because the thickness can make some issues if you look at it in a different way. So that's why it's important to figure out how to make things work and understand them rather than just trying to assume things. It's better to just make more sense with numbers because everything is most of the time given to us that we would need. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for upcoming videos and if you have any doubts, just ask me in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.